250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter. I'm bringing the news to your ass like none other. But before I begin, y'all hit the like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, man, don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit that cash app. Dollar sign Michael US. This is a challenge that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. In order to be great, we got to make great decisions. And this woman here did not make a great decision by lying on the man she made that, that she met on a dating app. So she met this guy on a dating app, and she she got so nervous that she called the police on him before they officially went on their first date. I got a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go! Let's look at this mess here. This is according to lawandcrime.com. If you guys want to check out the article, article titled, Woman with Cold Feet Makes False 911 Call to Avoid Date." what the hell is going on jason candle is the uh the writer a man who showed up at the iowa home of a woman he met on a dating app was detained by police after she got cold feet and called 911 making false accusations including that he was a domestic abuser and she was pregnant with his baby <laughs> to get out of this going out with him authorities said so she called the police and claimed that he was a domestic abuser and she was pregnant in order to get out of the date because she's shy. Somaya Thomas, 18, faces a misdemeanor charge of making a false report. Let's see. The case came to light on June 16th at 12.11 a.m. when Thomas called the police saying her abusive ex-boyfriend was outside her home according to a complaint affidavit. He was sending her threatening texts saying he was going to hit punch kick and stab her the document alleged she said in the 911 call she also said she had known the man for two years he wouldn't leave her alone and was pregnant with his baby she reported him threatening to cause harm to her court documents said that when police responded to the home in north liberty just north of iowa city they found the man in question as he was leaving he told police he had started speaking with her a week earlier on a dating app before they began texting and he verified the information by showing police the text messages. Woo! The conversation showed he was being honest and he really did he really did just meet this girl. Investigators also spoke with Thomas after repeated questioning the I'm sorry, she finally admitted to making up the false reports because she got cold feet the told she told investigators she didn't think the police would help otherwise and made up the story in the 911 call saying she believed the police wouldn't have done anything if she had just called normally this hoe is crazy police noted that the unidentified man had been detained for over an hour due to the false accusation she made thomas was booked and later released from the johnson county jail on two misdemeanor false reporting charges can y'all believe that said that she was pregnant how you gonna get pregnant by a man you just met how you never had sex with him i'm gonna meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion <laughs> let's go would y'all like my opinion would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones news tv channel commentary well of course you do that's why your ass is here i found this story quite laughable because i really can't believe that she called the police on the man and then the lie that she told she said oh she was pregnant she said that her and this man been together for two years this is her ex-boyfriend how in the hell this man you just met seven days ago gonna be your ex-boyfriend 
Y'all haven't been, been on a date yet. Y'all only been talking through an app. Hmm? Hmm? She said they've been together for two years. He Two years, he has knocked her up, and he is abusive. Punching on her, kicking on her, dragging her ass up the street. And the police come out looking like, well, you know, the police, they, 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 you know, they doing their damn job. Somebody beating on a woman, your ass got to go. So they get down there, they looking at everything, and the man, they're about to whoop this man's ass. Think about this. You're going on a date with somebody you just met, and now you're liable to catch your ass whooping because she lied on you because she's so damn nervous. Well, if you're nervous, why didn't you just communicate that to the man? So the police about to beat this man up, take him downtown and beat him up some more. Thank God he saved the text messages. And now her ass is uh, facing two misdemeanor charges for false police reports. Good. Wasting our damn tax dollars. We already ain't got no police. I'm not for the police entirely. Maybe about 10%. But the, the, but the ones we do have out there, you know, they need to be out there fighting real crime. This lets you know how psychotic people are on those dating apps. Now, I did a dating app one time, and but I just did it for fun. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a curious person. I'm like, why do I keep talking about this shit? There, I never saw the benefit of it, so I did it one time. And just like I predicted. See, I go in the game knowing the food gaze, but I just want to see if... If I'm right, because I believe everybody that's on the dating apps is full of shit. So I went on there and come, it was a pretty picture she sent me. And I went to go meet her face to face. And it was the picture she sent. I could already tell there was an old picture. I was like, oh, red flag right there. I can see shit. And she get out there. I was like, man, her belly all over her belt buckle. I said, girl, you looking horrible in these streets. But I'm not going to tell you face to face. We're going to chill for a little bit. Then I got to go. Everybody lies on there. And you have to understand, if you're meeting somebody on a dating app, you know, these people don't have any good social skills. They're weird. For all of those people who are on them dating apps, get off them apps and go mingle. Go to the uh, coffee shop. Go down there to... Um, go down to the mall Go talk to somebody Get out there Get active Get hungry Do what you gotta do To make sure That you put yourself In the best position It's good to meet somebody Face to face It's, it's really good Nowadays Because people are crazy Think about this You met this girl On a dating app And you almost went to jail Talking about she pregnant How ho You never even slept With the man Who's this mystery man? Can you, I, if I'm looking at it like, what? She pregnant? What you talking about? I never even slept with her officer. I never slept with her officer. What you talking about? You're saying that she's pregnant and uh, y'all been dating for two years and you've been kicking on her. You've been punching on her. Look at here, nigga. We don't condone that out here. Now, if I, uh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got proof that I never even slept with this girl. This is our first time meeting. So now the cops... She made the cops look like jackass, because now she got the cops all hyped up, ready to beat this nigga up. The cops are ready to jump on this man because of this lie. Women, you guys got to stop lying. That's another thing y'all want to take from this. Stop lying. Your lies have devastating consequences. That man could have got his ass. What if he got into it with the police? And he's legit. He's in the right. Y'all can't. I'm not trying to go to jail. Some people just comply with the police. What if he's one of those guys who feel he's in the right, he knows he's in the right, and he bucks the police, not the police, beat his ass, resisting the rest now. All because of a lie that you told with your non-pregnant ass. You see a woman like her, you need to, if you're watching this, you're catching this video, your ass need to be alone. I see why you're on the dating apps. You guys, leave those dating apps alone. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this? Lying on this man. Almost got his ass jacked up by the police on their first date. Oh, my baby. My baby. 250 capital G. I'm gone.